at uh, Brad Cup's beef breeding farm, part of East Farmers for Beef, they're called Tara Beef, and we'll just find out what is farm, what kind of rainfall, and all the things that could apply to farming here. So, what kind of rainfall do you get, Brad? Uh, between 350 and 400 mil is our average Ben. Mostly in the winter? Yeah, mostly winter rain, very little yeah. summer rainfall here. Yeah. So then what uh, rotations do you have uh, in your, what kind of crops and what rotations are you using? So depending on the soil type um, and, and what farm we're on to what enterprise it, it fits into, typically we're a wheat loop and rotation for our, our cropping system. Um, Canola and opportunistic paddocks on, on certain soil types, chasing gravel. Our heavy country is a wheat canola and opportunistic chickpea when the market suits. Um, and our home farm here is wheat lupin and uh, a grazing uh, system integrated as well that typically incorporates perennial grasses and uh, rye corn, rye grass, clover. Well, so you've got quite a variety of stuff that you, uh, crops that you plant every year, all of, all of those? Yeah, correct, yeah. yeah. The, the perennials we obviously don't plant every year, but everything else is, a, yeah. is an annual system. And so, you, how much, uh, par what percentage of pasture do you end up with at, uh, for the cattle and your stock? Typically only about 15% yeah. um, is sown pasture, and, um, and our, our grazing system, yeah, it works at about that 15%. So most of your uh, cattle are stud? We're about 50% stud, stud and 50% commercial. Right, yeah, yep. And uh, so what's the calving date? So historically we've been a, a March-April calving date. Yep. Um, and then trying to work in with our beef label, we're, we're working towards having a, a, a two calvings a year. So have a March-April-May calving and then a uh, August, September, October calving with this, the aim to put more calves into the feedlot. Right. So this is so that you can get a continuous supply all the year round? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So then when, how do you go about weaning? So typically we, we wean a little bit later than what's standard, but um, our, our cattle need to fit in with our cropping operation primarily. So we, um, we aim to finish harvest in December and then wean calves in, in January. Um, by that stage, the cows have just about had enough of the calves and um, calves will come in, be, be yard weaned for the period of over about a week, um, where the cows are then returned to pasture and the, the calves are then put onto the feedlot uh, for, for three weeks to a month to make sure that their rumens have developed and, and they're okay to eat and perform on their own and don't need to be supplemented by mum. Right, so when did you mate then? Uh, we're a June, typically for a, we're a June, June mating, mate. so yep. um, our AI and embryo program runs mostly through June, starting yep. with heifers in the first week of June and typically the embryo program running in the, the last week of June, which is what we've been doing the last couple of days. Right. So now we come to the marketing. So you've uh, developed a, a, a system where you're doing quite a bit of the marketing yourself, aren't you? Doing the but having the butchering organised and everything. Yeah, correct. So it's um it's been a, a development over about a ten year process, but um yeah, we've tried to develop a full paddock to plate, or in our case, it's more conception to consumption, where we have a stake in the supply chain the whole way through, from um, the genetic management of that calf before it's born with the stud side, through to um, the calf production system through to into the feedlot and finished up to a high quality product. From then where we, we uh, offer it direct to the household or to the restaurant. Um, so we'll use the abattoirs and the butcher shop on, on contract to um, slaughter and process the animal for us up to the customer's requirements. And the other thing when I was talking to you, you were uh, very particular about the last fortnight of finishing off your cattle before they go to the abattoir. Can you tell us a bit about that? I think it's a, a very understated thing that um, most people probably don't understand that um, happy, healthy cattle, uh, successful, profitable cattle, 
And um, the last two weeks of that animal's life, they need to have uh, a zero stress um, sort of lifestyle. So no new cattle are integrated into the uh, feedlot in that mob before slaughter. Um, and obviously we, we only employ the very best um, low stress stock handling techniques to, to make sure those cattle are, um, leave the farm and go through to slaughter in a um, not only sustainable, but um, happy and healthy sort of way. Well, what I see here, uh, Brad, you've got your uh, animals in beautiful condition and they, they look fantastic and it's great to be able to come out and have a look here. Thanks very much, Brad. Thanks, Ben. Cheers, mate. Yeah.